time, the horrible, cursed wheel that just continues to make life terrible. It's filled with games I know little to nothing about. The games could be good, except for two parts of the wheel that we know are either bad or boring. In blue, we have urban cards. In purple, swag and sorcery. In green, bee simulator. In red, maze. And of course, in PP yellow, bad rats and poo poo brown, neo balls. Two games we know are either bad or boring or both. The rules are simple we spin the wheel, and the game it lands on, we try and play it for one hour. If it lasts a full hour, it's a good game. We'll probably play more of it on stream at some point. If it doesn't last an hour, we'll make fun of the game and talk about why he couldn't hold our attention for an hour. The exception, of course, being Pee Pee and Poo Poo. Those are endurance challenges. How long can we tolerate those terrible games? There's no way this isn't a Pee Pee Poo Poo spin. Let's find out, shall we? Spin the wheel! Round and round she goes. Where it stops, I don't care. It's gonna suck for me, probably. Oh, Maze looks like a nightmare. I have no idea what Maze is, but the screen for it has humanoid corn demons that make me very uncomfortable to look at. So that's good for the continuation of this Noida game that was going so well and suddenly turned into a very scary time. I don't like that it's so quiet. I'm terrified that it's suddenly going to be very loud. Please don't. Please don't be scary loud. Be pleasant. Be a pleasant volume. I'm going to preemptively lower the volume for the for the program before it explodes. Open volume mixer quickly. God. Volume mixer's not loading. There it is. Quick, where's Maze? What are you doing? Maze, quick! Bring it down. There we go. Why? You can still hear an echo? Yeah, I'm hoping we could uh, slowly work that out by me putting a bookshelf in here and some other things I still gotta drag down. Does this game not have audio? Oh! Audio! Oh no. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. I think we could uh, adjust some settings here. 1920 by 1080. Yes. Good night, Mona. Sleep well. Yeah, I think the more furniture we get in here, the less echoey it'll be. And also me remembering to put the mic like close enough to my face to reduce the distance and you'll just get my voice and no echo. But I think we could we could improve upon the setup. Is this a horror game? Oh yeah, the other stream was way more echoey because we were facing the other way. Okay. It also helps when the game audio is here. When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. Open door panel. Slot for a key, a slot for a hand, a circular slot. You don't have a hand. Boost the auto, you got it. Press escape or P to enter the pause menu. Oh, 
is it? Is it a devil in tundra? Does maze refer to the fact that corn can be called maze and also a maze is a thing you can get lost in? Is this a play on words? Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. There you Thank you. I know I was wondering about the Q button. This is eerily similar to that landlord that tried to lure me into the woods to sign a paper. Pick up items. You've got English muffin. English muffin. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. You're gonna love coal, man. You're gonna fucking love it. Coal is so clean burning. Way more efficient than oil. You're gonna love it. Who put all these boxes here? Fucking oranges! God damn it. Just trying to go through some corn, man. Fuck. A house! That seems like the place for me. Okay. One out of 75, I hope that's not pages. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Out of Noitigo, we are saved in Westworlds, and we're going to pick that back up on Wednesday. Now we're doing something that makes me vaguely uncomfortable. Playing this game. It's like, hey, you could use an item. Use an item now. It's like, I got a muffin. Muffin didn't do nothing, game. What did you think the muffin was gonna do, game? Got a meat grinder in there, that's no good. Break the door with the muffin, you know? I did click on it with the muffin, but nothing happened. Try one more time. I guess we gotta find a key, that's the implication here. Okay. Those are boxes. I'd like to go into house. What the fuck is that? I do actually legitimately enjoy the synth music. Every once in a while you get that bum 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 bum. You got broken shovel handle. What the fuck is going on in this video game? Where'd the corn people go? What do I do with the handle? Maybe now I could break the door. It's worth a try. I think I came from that way. Did 
you look like the house? Did this look like the house? I mean, it's house. It looked like house. Oh, did this look like the house in uh, Belcher Town? You know, it's not that different. It was like an old colonial. It didn't quite have the uh, the turrets. That's more Victorian. This but boxier and no porch. Muffin. Handle. Muffin. I don't understand. I don't get it. What do we do? What's going on? Where's the key? Why are we in corn? Where did we come from initially? Why is there no map? I guess I go this way. Unless I came from this way, I don't remember. We definitely came from this way. I'm pressing Q, it's not doing anything for some reason. Alright, we definitely came from this way. Those are boxes. What the fuck? What do you expect from me, game? <coughs> what about Alt F4? If I don't make some headway, that's what's gonna fucking happen. <coughs> Did I miss a key over here? I don't understand. I'm scared and lost. I just want to go in the house. I want to see fucking corn demons. We only got to see the back of their weird little heads. Ain't good enough for me. I need more. C minus. Wait, what about the muffin? The muffin's a circle, you're fucking lying to me! Fuck you. Keep pressing spacebar to jump. That ain't how this go. Ooh, there's a run button. What if I look at options? <coughs> look at controls. <coughs> well, with this space button, this shift button, this sprint button... I don't know what's going on. Well, this is where we started our adventure. I am, uh, concerned. I'm very concerned. I don't know how to, uh, you know, make progress. We got a handle and we got a muffin. And neither does nothing. You got lost in a cornfield once for over 12 hours? How big was the cornfields? My advice would have been to pick a direction and just keep going straight. I don't like that the muffin doesn't fit in the circular slot. Massive? I mean, I don't... I don't disbelieve you. America, with its corn subsidies, we have... so much corn. I imagine the percentage of usable land that is covered with corn would be a staggeringly shocking number. Because if you think about it, like... Even more than 1% would be very scary, and I bet it's more than 1% of the surface is covered in corn. On the oceans, of course, just usable land. How much usable land is covered in corn? Now, was it just a field or was it a corn maze? And you paid good money to get lost in it. I 
All right, we don't go this way. Don't don't go that way. That sign's a bad sign. Oh, <laughs> the fences. Having been lost in a forest, you're not wrong. I swear to God, this wasn't here before. What the fuck? Got another path. Look around outside first. Can we open the door? Open the chicken coop. Fuck off. We're in, everybody. All right. Now we're cooking with the gasoline. It's dark in here. An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. <clears throat> I was on this include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. <clears throat> Soundtrack, I sure hope you have a few more uh, tricks up your sleeve here. Much as I like that one... Bow, 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 bow. This reminds me of The Things soundtrack. A really boring mystery novel. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page, and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. Turn around every so often so you can see what it looks like walking back? Yeah, that's a smart idea. Marking things is also nice if you have access to a thing that lets you mark. Like, if you're lost in the woods and you have a pocket knife, use the pocket knife to score a tree or two. Unlock secret door, making it much less secret. A sausage grinder, something is jammed inside. Well, muffin don't do it. Canola, rancid corn oil. That don't do it. I score this tree 5 out of 7. That's exactly how I meant it. I will not correct you. Bathtub clock. <coughs> it smells so bad. Why would you do this? I got fruit crate. <clears throat> I mean, this is definitely an adventure game logic kind of game. Just click thing on thing and hope. <laughs> Missing a fuse. Oh, none of those did anything. Stairwell. To, uh, oh. Open the cellar doors. Any glowing objects down here? Glowing objects? It's missing most of the fuse box. Let's try upstairs. Let's also try every object. Bobby pin. Boy, it's the bobbies. You better make a break for it. And I, I wonder what item could be placed there. I'm beside myself with intrigue. Wobbly wardrobe, you say? Aha! Uh -huh. I 
Oh, you've seen this game before? Oi! You got a license for that pin? Oh, it's the bobbies! I have a mallet. An item can be placed here. I'll place something there. My dick. Hit that with a mallet. Just like in that movie. Die, you zombie bastards. Several acres? That's a big cornfield. <clears throat> With all these new tools, who knows what kind of mischief I can get up to now. And we're still at the beginning? I have no idea what's going on. Much of it can be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient cornstalks, and why did we do this? I do enjoy the humor. <clears throat> the lack of more than this one repeating sound, though, might drive me insane. Okay, let's let's get out of the upstairs. There's there's nothing left for us here. We gotta come back when we have specific items. Damn it! Oh, you want you want more audio, do you? I'll teach you to ask for more audio. There, now you get to enjoy the droning soundtrack all the more. <laughs> no, please. It's too late. You made your bed. Now you lie in it. It's your fault. The head bob in this game, I will admit, is killing me. I turn off the head bob. Epic. Scream. I don't even have a bed. Oh no, you don't sleep in a bed? Well, head bobby it is. I got your number, mate. Oi, bobby pin! Oi, uh, and Melly! Sleep on a couch? Just like Fox Mulder? Fox Mulder sleeps on a couch. This head bob is killing me. Oh, can't you see? The head bob will be the death of me. Ponty sleeps on a couch too. I'm gonna press Q so many times now, I'm gonna fucking teach you guys a lesson. Tell me not to press Q. Fuck you. Do what I want. I'm mediocre rock. Damn it. A rusty nail jammed on the wall. Nail clippers? That's not how nail clippers work. I know nail is a word, but that ain't how that works. Alright, all we got was the, the nail. Maybe, maybe the nail does a thing in the house? Ponty and Theo, two regular old molders. It can grip the nail, you're right. But I still think it's funny that it's like, yes, nail clipper, that works on nail. Dun 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 dun. You know what? Bobby pin and nail are, are kinda like fuses. Let's shove those in here. Use the rusty nail as a fuse against safety regulations. It worked. All right. It's less dark than it was.
Find stairs, go. There's that awful sound. You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you. To the barn and the silo. Oh, goody. I've always wanted to go to the barn and the silo. Hooray. The rock goes here? This is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It's absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> I'm going to go to the barn. I see the barn. This is exactly what I want to be playing at 3 a.m. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for cl Oh, fuck off. An old CD, its labels faded, pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created. This brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make up while stumbling around a music shop. That's not a clue. <clears throat> That's a description. <coughs> make things flat. Should be useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point, and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. I'm stupid. What happened? Why did I get so dumb? <gasps> Good night, mighty Odin. Sleep well. What if they made an adventure game where you could use the wrong item on the thing, so you never knew if you actually did the right thing? There's a game that does that. I'm trying to remember which one. Like, there are multiple solutions to things, and some of them can be wrong. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while No 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 appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. <clears throat> no No No. No No No. No No No. Uh-uh-uh. Can't let you do that. Uh-uh-uh. Nedry, that son of a bitch. In one of those games, you're required to make a ladder of toothpicks, so yeah, I can't remember the name of the game either. A broom! I could be a witch now. With this, I could fly. There's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way, as the ghost is currently away on business. <clears throat> The journey down. That sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. The trigger, like, as a programmer, would be really annoying. Making a game where you could do the wrong outcome without soft locking the game. I guess you could have a failure state. <laughs> A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person in the DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. <clears throat> Machinarium is amazing. Like, just one of the best games in the... Good? Bad? Question mark. In the old adventure game genre. Good night, Theo. Sleep well. We're finding out who has the the endurance to go very late today. I want to go to the silo now. The developer that makes Machinarium, all their games are aces. Recommend all of them. <clears throat> Where is the silo? There is the silo. I will go to the silo. The soundtrack is killing me. Please, have second song. I beg you. A lock, huh? That's not gonna stop the bobby. Get in there, you louts. Yeah, Botanicula is a really good one. I will sweep it. You got needle nose pliers. Whoa! 
the whole thing? Okay. <clears throat> Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees, possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. <clears throat> Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very pla poorly planned facility, with a farm situated on the top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. <clears throat> hey, don't worry about it. You sleep if you gotta sleep. Oh, you don't need to stay awake. You go to bed if you gotta go to bed. You go to bed. Get some rest. You feel better. All I know is Gomper better be playing pay close fucking attention to this. This wheel spin that was so important to him. You better be paying very close attention. Gomper, I'm gonna quiz you on this game. I did stop pressing Q, but now I'm pressing it again. Because no one is the boss of me. No, I don't mean watching. I mean taking notes. <clears throat> I want those needle nose pliers. Glove severed hand. Perfect. Got the severed hand I knew I deserved and wanted. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Do this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. He does look kind of Doc Brownish, doesn't he? Got that hair. When do I find the corn demons? I want the corn demons. Hmm. We got a round thing, so that goes in the... The CD's gonna get us in... One of the locks on the door. The severed hand's the other one. We got the middle one. Touch his desiccated peepee. Theo, you have no choice in the matter. You're gonna feel better and you're gonna like it. You go lie down and you feel better, goddammit. If you don't, I'll find you. And I'll make you feel better. With copious opioids. <laughs> I will not I will not force you on opioids. Tase, you also go lie down and feel better. Everyone go lie down and feel better. Leave the stream on, but go lie down and feel better. <clears throat> One day you'll feel comfortable going to a job interview? No, I got bad news. That'll never stop. You'll always feel scared. If you're like me, like, there's no way you could ever remove anxiety from me. Unless I were to go in there... ...really high. Like, I, I could remove anxiety through copious amounts of indigo-strained marijuana. But I feel like that might impair my, uh, performance in the interview to a degree. I'm pretty sure it'll be like that scene in Train Spotting when, uh... Freaking, uh, what's his name? I always want to say Sick Boy, but I'm pretty sure Sick Boy was not the one who... Leisure's my life! I love leisure! Uh, le leisure's all I can think about! During the entire interview. I live, for le I live for leisure. Leisure's my life, and I, 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 I live for leisure. But just so socially, it's so socially awkward. You feel like a lizard person. Yes, all interviews are like that for me, <clears throat> job or otherwise. Oh god damn it! I'm going the wrong way. I need the needle nose pliers first. Who remembers the character names in Train Spotting so well they can tell me who that was? You got a warp key fob. Now we go upstairs. And hit this thing with a fucking hammer. Every time mallet and hit with a mallet are like a thing in my brain, all I can think of is the scene from Die You Zombie Bastards. <clears throat> Can't not have that pop in my head. 
Ding! Hit it with a mallet. Ding! Ding! All right. <coughs> we got it. We got all the parts. It's time now. Time now for success. Well, look at you, Theo. So good at interviews. Nope. Not that one. Yep, that one. Right there. The slow burn to this game might burn perhaps too slowly. Spud! His name was Spud. 100% Spud. There was Sick Boy, Spud. Tommy was the main character. And then there was a guy who... Who got really uncomfortable when he took someone home from the bar and found out that they had a peepee. -pee. I don't remember his name. He's kind of like the antagonist figure in a lot of ways. The real, the bastard character, the real douchebag man. Do you remember Kyle McGregor's name? I think he was Tommy, I think. That or the bastard man was Tommy. I remember he had a fairly normal name. I'm sorry, hand don't go there? E go there. CD go there. Hand go there. Hand go there. A severed gloved hand, perfectly preserved in the glove that encased it. It could come in handy if you can give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get the glove off. So fucking... Rah, bah, bah, bah. Rah, bah, 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 bah. I should have read that first, damn it. trying to reach chat and also sprint through a cornfield. Son of a bitch and god fucking damn it. I forgot about the sink of rancid, rancid corn oil. It was there, already set up for us. Boo! Boo! Make me do this long run again. Worked a machining plant the first day every single machine you use broke in same, some way? Don't use them like that. Use them in the way that don't break. Use them gooder. Oh lord. Oh lord, come on. Come on. Give me that sink. Give me that sink of rancid corn oil. Where is it? Don't t don't deny me the sink. All right, got the hand. It's a photo real hand. That's what I wanted. High five hand. High five. It really was your fault? Sorry to find out it was your fault. I'll call them and let them know. You've, you've like admitted to it. I'll have to edit the text a little bit, but... My evil plan will not be foiled. Apparently we've entered the delirium stages of the stream, where now I'm just rambling. Stream of consciousness everything from here on out. There's the door! High five! Last one was on purpose, got him! Is it time? Is it time for hello corn hey. people, dear reader? Hey! Hey! There's the nightmare. You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. Unexpected. <laughs> A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. <gasps> I like that one. Answer I like that one. one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm Riddle President today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was he? Yes, yes, right. 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 No, I've actually always been, been a bit unclear, unclear on the election. Oh, we should yes, yes, really help with that. <clears throat> They an voted. Empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? <gasps> Am you I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. It's so British. Unexpected. Thank you, corn people. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. 
Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Hi, it's Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pallets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. You pressed a button. You ate a stale pallet. Oh. Oh, the game's doing a funny with me. They're intentionally wasting my time. Oh, that's my favorite kind of joke! I love when games intentionally waste my time! It's my favorite! Oh, boy. Let me off the elevator. Oh, that's a picture. Bob B. McTavish Honorary Lobby. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on front. <laughs> the future is corn. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified, put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Start from over here. <coughs> <coughs> My god, Bob. What is this? Do you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? <coughs> That'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic don't! Cordially, Ted. Hi, you, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us. Bob, you are so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? We can't- uh, uh, We can't host any tours, moron! Cordially, Ted. Bob McTavish. PhD, MA, BSC, DOP, Esquire. GOP, very good. Whoa, I saw something creepy. Hey! They did one of those fun, you almost catch up to it, but you can't quite moments. This head bob was designed by Satan. An extremely obvious fake panel. English Muffin couldn't pull it off. <clears throat> Very disappointing, you English Muffin. Ooh, someone's getting swole in here. Really? No? Oh, there we go. Oh, it goes in the folio? Try as you might, you're unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet, somehow, you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. <laughs> Sweaty headbands. <clears throat> the only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks. A breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which is apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Jurassic Park reference. I'm here to let you know, if they make a movie reference, you're, you're going to know what the movie reference is. I'm going to let you know. You don't have to worry about that, none. So the boxes disappear when we complete certain tasks. <clears throat> A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever. Just certain from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. See, this would have been a great opportunity to give me a different song. I guess it is a different song, but it's not that different. 
Handle that, of course, like a pro. Children's block. It is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. We're dummies. This game made us dummies. We don't get to be smart in this game. Only dummies. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Maybe something here can hope in this X. Teddy bear. Headband. Nope. Well, I've tried everything. That's literally everything you could possibly do. Statue caught me by surprise for a second there. I was like, what is that? Ooh! Jumpsuit. Wait. Ted, Ted! Exciting news! I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for this facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some great stuff. Bob, you idiot! You got a good deal on them because they're completely useless! Nobody can wear them! Fortunately, Ted. Have you seen the movie Rob Roy? You know, I have not. They make a reference to that one. I'm gonna need someone else to point that one out. I'm not sure I've even heard of Rob Roy. Tell me, tell me a little bit about it. What kind of movie are we talking about here? Is it the kind of movie I should find and watch? Do you recommend Rob Roy? <gasps> Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the pro subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the Sentient Corn has no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm, and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. <clears throat> Good for hanging up coats, unless it's placed upside down, in which case it's not effective at all. Made of the material that looks like it will fall apart with the mere thought of a gentle breeze, this jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. His name is Vladdy, according to the tag, looks grumpy. This sweaty head man imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. How's Maze? Surprisingly engaging? It's a little slow at first. It takes like a half an hour to get into the facility and even now like I don't feel like we're quite at the the meat and potatoes but it certainly got more interesting at the half an hour point teddy bear other shapes that are not teddy bear I ban you in here <clears throat> In 1713 Scotland, Rob Roy McGregor is wronged by a nobleman his nephew, becomes an outlaw in search of revenge while fleeing the Red Coast. Red Coats and faces charges of being a Jacobite. Actually, I think I did see that, but without knowing the name. The description and the actors involved, Tim Roth and Liam Neeson, like that sounds incredibly familiar. But yes, uh, Zabatsu, the game is weird, it's mysterious. It's enough to keep me, like, going. Hi, it's Ed. Oh, it's also funny. Like, the writing's pretty good. The latest for sure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it'll really boost the tour, and you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been rejected. Safety first. Bob, first, you're an idiot. That for sure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours! Cordially, Ted. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title jerk, cordially Ted. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Cordially Ted. <clears throat> It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats, and mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large, and it contain things that should stay in very large vats. Bob, you jerk. 
Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. Cordially, Ted. Oh, Gripatron. We know where that goes. Old computer. I think I know where that goes. Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Cordially. Don't make me crouch. Don't don't make me crouch. Turned on power strip. I've done it. Computer. I can't read that. It's white on light blue. That's unreadable. Well, can't use the keyboard. Don't worry. Arm go there. Now we need a sign and a big blob. All we need is that big blob. You thought of the movie because of the discussion about claymores a while back was still stuck in your head? Nice. Something went down that way. Oh my goodness. Hi, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. Had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. There's a- here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you? Bob. Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face to that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. <clears throat> definitely believe that these are hyper-intelligent researchers. Originally from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly complains now 100% salmonella free. There are, no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility. But a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. It is a pretty sexy mustard stain, I must admit. You better give me a character. You got seven minutes, game. There better be a character in this room. I want to meet the big corn. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. Cordially, Ted. It's a picture of a flower. Military backpack. All right, we got it. There's like one thing we need now, a sign of some kind. Give me a sign. Oh, a sign. Um, that might be... Oh, there we go. What we got in here? Screwdriver. All right. Not the kind I wanted. I wanted the drink screwdriver at the moment. That'd be super. Very stiff screwdriver. I think we passed another hallway we could have gone down, right? Yeah, right here. Or was it right there? Which one did I come into originally? Well, if we choose the wrong one, it still works out. We could put the blobby thing in. We took the wrong one. Guess it's all about putting the backpack down now. Alright, gotta go get that sign. Don't go in the wrong direction again. Alright, alright, we followed the food, now we go this way. Let us pose another query. Yes. In the woods, does it make Finally. A sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since watch the tree, faces. it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well done. Well done. Uh, had I looked up, what have I noticed them looking down on me? Did I miss out on a little moment there? You guys got anything good back here? 
All right, never mind. That's fine, I guess. Oh, an etch, a Sketcher 3000. Sorry, don't want to use the wrong name. That might be the last object we're looking for. It was square. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Cordially, Ted. I like the idea that he's eating so many of them as he walks. How would you hold this many? It can't be done. Here we go this way. Here we go. No! Oops. What do we got? Major improvement over the Sketcher 2000 as it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. <clears throat> Gotta find a hint in here. Bob's favorite screwdriver used to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. Oh, I know where we're going. It is completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against metal railing. Hate to admit it, but the hints actually do, uh... Do work. Most of them are in hints, though, so I got that going for me. The Ram! Hi, right, Ted. Just a heads up, I put your Ram right here. This way it gets less dusty. So kind of him, so kind. Look at all this Ram. Has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of Ram. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of Ram. Ever, and search for a computer upgrade with it, knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. All right, we can upgrade the computer, which should make it run. That will get us the next thing we need, maybe, if we're lucky. Ram. <laughs> Old computer's been upgraded. It's not your best work. That's how it works. I mean, that's how I upgrade computers. Upgraded computer. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Un yes, comrade. Stand. I what understand Vladdy you. Is saying. <sighs> Butso boy, you are big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Yes. <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> oh. Why, guys, so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. Just go with it, Vlad. Just go with it. <sighs> so, where we go? You've acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Well, thank you very much. That's what I want. Vladdy, you hungry, buddy? Want a headband? Vladdy, I don't know what the fuck we're doing with you. Like, oh, there we go. Perfect. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god. What is that? What is... What is Plant saying? Is that a... It is... It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Remember we thought this was a horror game? Remember that? rude contraption! What if you're just gonna be like that? Oh, right! We completely forgot! We have a message for you! It's very important! You should hit the showers! What's a shower? I have no idea. Bloody does thank not you. like it here. Just tell me where to go. I appreciate it. You should probably go find... We should probably go find the new passageway. But like, in relation to where I am right now, where is this new passageway? Could you have told me that? Ooh, ooh showers. I remember showers.
Oh ho ho! Didn't even have to use the screw. Whoa! Do your stupid things, idiot! Bye, Vlad. I'm gonna follow the red line. I, I love you, Vlad. Wait for wait for me. I hope he doesn't go away. Yay! Oh god. Oh, and a green. Well, let's keep red. I have to go. It's so late. I need to eat food. But I want to see where the red line goes. Hello, green line. It's a game! I kinda... I don't believe that alert. Alright, that's horrifying. I'm glad I kept going. For just a few extra seconds for this to happen to me. Who has disturbed me? Why is it a hundred we times louder? We are not louder? amused that you have kept us waiting. As our servant oh. informed you of your task. Are we going to be married? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. She's so much louder than everyone else. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that. By stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Why? Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. But oh. perhaps you are different Stop. from the Stop cutscening at me. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have We're in love found now. our champion. We're gonna get married. No, likely not. Damn it. Here I thought I knew where Perhaps this game was going. we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And like raise Christmas the ring. lights. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. Good night. What a nice corn. Looks like you have something to do. In a pure coincidence, a new path is open to you. Head to the West Hook checkpoint. You're insane if you think that's happening right now. Exit the desktop. Does the game save? How do you save the game? This game better have saved. Yes. Oh god. It's like past three and I still haven't had dinner yet. Everything's falling apart. Life's over.